Off to Bunnings we go. Time to get that hacksaw. I gotta get some retic parts too, but bear with us. Let's go on this adventure together. <laughs> Okay, so we've been to Bunnings. I've uh, managed to pick up these two. So I got this one first. It's a uh, what flat-sided saw. I know I said hacksaw before, but I um, realize there's not that much clearance on this. So I got two saws that I thought might do the job, but given us the best amount of clearance. So uh, let's see if we can't cut this off. Yeah, so we managed to get this off. So uh, that means now we can flip this, we'll clean it up, and uh, we can glue the first pad in place. Okay, guys, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to clean up around this hole. So first we're going to take a razor blade, and we're just going to razor off any junk that's on the glass. We don't want to get rid of anything that's going to prevent it from sticking properly. Okay. So we want no dirt. Any dirt, Daddy. No, that's it. This is my boy Link. He's helping me out today, so he's confirmed it. We don't want any dirt there, do we? We don't want any dirt stopping the glue. So we're just razor blading around the area to get rid of any dirt. Okay, you're about ready to hand me that uh, the methylated spirits there, Link. What? What? The bottle. Is this one? Yep. So if you can hand me the bottle. We're now going to clean the hole with some methylated spirits, or white spirits as some people would know it. Daddy? Can you pass me the paper towel now, please? Daddy? Yes, mate. You're my best friend. You're my best friend, too. Okay, so we're going to put some methylated spirits on our rag, and we're just going to wipe down and clean the area. Now, that whole area is super clean, and we should get a good bond with our silicon. We'll just let that dry and I'll come back with the silicon. So I'm just going to clean down a little glass pad as well. Some more white spirits. Just wipe it down. Want to get it all nice and clean. We don't want any oily stuff or anything else left on the surface. Yeah, this one's Starfire Antique White. So if you happen to like that colour and want it for your splashback from my work, you know which colour to order. <laughs> anyway, that should be all nice. Now, just go over it with a quick white paper towel. Just nice and clean. So we're going to glue this pad on there now with some fresh silicon, glass silicon. And then I'm going to use this old stone catfish cave 20mm hefty boy to just weigh it down for now. So we know that's about our pad area. So I think I might just apply it one-handed along here.
want a good amount. We want to get a good seal. We don't want too much to come out that central hole, so I'll just leave a little bit in the center there. So there's all our glue on. We'll place our pad down. Give it a good press. Nice good press. And then we'll put our weight on top. Then we can leave it for 24 hours. Just want to double check we're centered for one of these. Oh, perfectly centered. So now we can leave that for 24 hours just to cure. And uh, we got three more to do. Yay! Okay, let's see if we can't get the second one off any easier. Oh, it's loose already, which is never a good sign. <laughs> Shows it was pretty loose on the tank. Alright, so that's the plug out. Now let's see if we can get the uh, drain connector out. Grab this rag over here. So far so good, but the last one was like this where I could undo it easily for a bit. Then there's a totally a point where it becomes difficult. Probably because there's calcium buildup or something like that on the thread. It's always a problem when you're doing these tanks that have been set up for years. Uh, we've hit the tight point again, so we'll uh, switch to the saw. Okay, fingers crossed we can do this as well as the first time. So there we go, second one off. Time to clean it up and get that glue pad on.
So uh, as you can see, all four tanks are out finally. Uh, we've scrubbed them all. Uh, Two of them are drying still, because I only just got to them now. Uh, but two are completely dry, have been cleaned and glued, as you've probably already seen. So um, I think it's about time we uh, get this old, crusty piece of chipboard out of here and this really bad old styrofoam solution out of here because um, I am surprised it lasted 10 years but um, we'll get this marine ply in we'll get this 20 mil styrofoam in then we can um, potentially look at bringing two of the tanks in uh, the other two still need to be completely dried cleaned and glued and then another 24 hours anyway um, so we're probably not going to be looking at getting water in these for it Hopefully tomorrow, but probably not tomorrow, probably the day after that. But bear with us guys, let's get this out and let's get the piece de resistance in. It took a bit of coercing, but she's in. Seems a shame to cover her up. Such a nice piece of timber. But oh well, let's get that done now. After all that, I realized I hadn't put the crossbars in. So I had to pull it all back out put the crossbars back in and then forcefully put everything all back in but we're there it's done we have the new marine ply board in we have the star of 20 mil styrofoam in we're just ready now for the tanks to start coming in but I want to let the two that I've glued dry a lot longer and I also need to glue up the other two so you're gonna have to come back for the next installment <laughs> Cheers for coming around guys, um, always a pleasure to have you, and uh, I've got to go, we've got to go sort out dinner and sort the kids out and stuff, so that's about it for t this afternoon, so uh, come back tomorrow and uh, we'll get a bit further, cheers. <laughs>